Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with The Raw Food World. Could this be the end of goji berries? Many people don't realize this, but all goji berries come from China. I know some companies try to fancy up their uh, goji berries by calling them Tibetan go goji berries or Himalayan goji berries, but they're pretty much all the same sources and they're all, they all come from the China region. Over a decade ago, a company took me under their wing called International Harvest. They are the top supplier for all dried fruits and um, nuts and seeds. And you've probably seen their brand. They're practically in every health food store, at your local health food store, um, all across the United States. They're even in many of the Whole Foods, most of the Whole Foods. Um, they're the Go Hunza brand. They carry, they have every dried fruit, nuts and seeds. These guys, um, won't even take, I got, they, they took me under their wing and they hooked me up over a decade ago. They won't even take anybody else on. They don't like selling to people just randomly like this. They sell to the stores, but they took me under their wing and hooked me up. And this is our main source supply of the, of our dried fruits, nuts, and seeds. We do get some other products like the Ojai persimmons that we get yearly and medjool dates from the Ojai farmer and things like that. But the majority of our products, um, come from International Harvest. They helped me put together everything, the labeling, helping me make it all in line with the FDA. Everything is 100% certified organic. I just got really lucky um, getting in the business early and these guys really liked me and hooked me up with all of this stuff. Anyway, so these goji berries that we have are from China, just like everybody else. You can't get them from anywhere else. And a woman in customer service freaked out that we had this product from China and she was worried about the coronavirus and everything. Um, well, the good news is, is that these goji berries were imported in January of 2019. I called up International Harvest and um, asked them personally. So that was over a year ago before the coronavirus ever existed. So it was like almost a year before the coronavirus ever existed. So um, on our website now, we're offering the goji berries at cost. Um, and these are pretty much the end of the pre-coronavirus goji berries from China. Is this the end of goji berries? I don't know. Um, if this is something you're scared of and you want to stock up on goji berries, go to matt-monarch.com um, or the rawfoodworld.com and stock up. They are at cost. I don't have the price offhand, but they're you can literally get them for like $13 a pound if you get a, or even less or something like that. If you get a three pack and you use the coupon code rawfood7. So it's an incredible deal. You might want to stock up. Um, we have about 120 pounds in stock. International Harvest can supply us with more of the ones from January, 2019. Um, if we run out, which I believe we're going to. They also supply us with all of their other um, incredible dried fruits, nuts, and seeds. I think out of all the 30 products we carry from them, maybe three are from China, but all have been imported before the coronavirus ever existed. Um, same with our freeze-dried durian that just came in, which is now available. We haven't had that in a while. Um, it's like 20 times cheaper than what you can get on Amazon. They're, those are at cost now also. So again, if you're interested in ordering our goji berries, certified organic at an incredible price, pre-coronavirus, before it even existed, simply go to our website and have fun. Thank you all for tuning in. No need to worry about the goji berries or the products that say China on our products. Um, once we get to the point where we run out of this stock, we'll let you know and we'll decide if we're gonna carry it at that time. Um, I just started, I just placed a huge order with International Harvest um, for, we only have like, we're really out of stock on a lot of their products right now. We probably have like five of their dried fruits and 10 of their nuts. Um, I didn't carry all of their products because some of the uh, dried fruits weren't raw. Um, so that's why I didn't carry them, such as the mango, the papaya, the jackfruit, the aronia berries, the bill berries. They're really good though. So I decided to also pick those up. We have like a hundred of their products coming probably in about a month or so. This is gonna take a lot of time. We gotta get all the labels ready. I picked up all their products pretty much. So it's gonna take some time. 
Um, I'll notify you in a month when those are ready. But goji berries are here now. And um, thank you for tuning in. This is Matt Monarch, and we'll see you next time at therawfoodworld.com. Oh, yeah. And by the way, the only reason why these other dried fruits are not raw, such as the mango, the papaya, is because they require different drying temperatures to get them at an, at an edible state. And I truly doubt that anyone that makes these products, like dried mangoes and stuff like that, are truly raw. They might be claiming it, but it might not be true um, because it's very difficult to do. Anyway, I'll be carrying all the non-raw products. will be labeled non-raw right in the title on our website. That's like a month from now.